So to start with, I will add the fill layer in here and scroll down in the properties in here until you have base color and I will change that to something I will click on dynamic to see the colors and I will change that to something like a very dark brown like this okay something like that I will use that for the bark okay now I will add another layer and I want this layer not to affect the other uh, one before it not to replace it but just to have an, uh, a filter on it so I will disable the color the metallic the roughness and the normal and the height I will disable all of them so right now it's an empty layer and then I'll click on this one this icon in here and go to add filter in the filters I will look for contrast and I will add the contrast luminosity in here now you can see that if I change the luminosity in here nothing is happening in the model and that is because uh, we, uh, the um, blending mode for the layer is set to normal normal just change it to pass through and right now the contrast and the luminosity filter will affect the model the layer before the layers before it okay so I want this one to be a little bit darker okay now this orange line in here means that there is something controlling that color if I click on another layer that sometimes disappears this one and if I want to have it back just click on the layer and you will have it back now I will add a new folder I will call it bark texture and I will move my layer in here make sure to keep them in the same order okay now I will right click on that folder add the black mask and then make sure that, that you have the mask selected click on here and add the paint now with that paint selected we can paint okay paint that paint all of what's in that folder in here but we don't want to paint manually if you want to control the uh, size in here you simply hold control and right click and move your mouse uh, left and right if you hold control and right click and move your mouse up and down you will control the hardness okay and if you scroll down in here you can change the grayscale of your brush so if you paint with white you will paint like this if you paint with black you will erase okay so we don't want to paint manually with our hands so I will click in here on the fourth icon in here and it will enable the wireframe mode in the wireframe mode you can select spaces and you can imagine that this also will take a very long time so you'd say okay sure I can just drag like this and the problem with this dragging method is that it paints everything even that the stuff that you're not seeing see how it painted everything so you look at this you just paint on these three faces and this on the back is going to get painted too we don't want that okay there is this triangle in here this will allow you to paint triangles and there is in here this is what we need this box in here this will paint a whole object so simply click once on those objects and 
it will paint it on them okay I will click in here to go back to the normal mode if by the way if you're ever like lost in here just press F and it will focus again on the uh, model okay right now I want to go back to that contrast luminosity fail, uh, layer that we added earlier and that we set to pass through so we can affect the layer before it and I want it to have mask so I will right click on it and add the black mask so I will click on that mask and right now if we paint we can I will exaggerate the effect for now so I will press on the layer and go to contrast luminosity and set the luminosity to very something very low now if you paint with white on the mask you can see what's happening you're enabling that effect on the part you're painting on but we want I don't want to paint manually I wanted to use one of the textures that we baked so if you click in here and go down until you get mesh maps the mesh maps are the ones that we baked earlier you can see this is the normal map and the workspace normal ID this is the one that we did not bake ambient occlusion and curvature you can see that the curvature has all of those details on it so we can use the curvature to mask our our uh, filter okay you can either go up to the top and hit lighting uh, material or you can simply hit M on the keyboard and it will go back to material okay right now I will click on the mask that we added and go in here and add generator you can see that substance comes with a lot of generators for example I can select dirt and you can see what dirt does it will enable the layer you have and mask it only on the uh, crevices that are going inward okay or I can change it to something like dripping rust you can see that it's dripping more in here and not dripping in the these areas for example you can try all of those is uh, this metal edgeware also works good if you want something on the uh, edges somewhere or something like that but what we will use uh, we will use curvature for this one okay we can actually use the dirt one the dirt one looks better I think yeah we can use the dirt one and you have some levels in here like the dirt level you can change it and the contrast okay you can see the image inputs that the dirt generator is uh, using to generate the dirt it's using the curvature and the ambient occlusion that we baked so if you don't bake your mesh maps you uh, these ge generators in general won't work as well as many other things in substance so as a rule of thumb just bake your textures first thing okay now I will go back to the effect the contrast luminosity uh, filter and lower the effect a little bit something like this okay now if you go back to the first layer because we disabled all of the things in the uh, filter layer we only left the, the filter we disabled the color it doesn't have any color so all of the color is coming from this first layer so if we change that color the effect will still happen correctly because it's using this color and if you change it it will change with it
so tweak your colors a little bit and uh, find something that you like okay now we can move to creating the next texture 